Hello my friends and welcome back to the channel. You're watching Project Dark Knight Horror and I am your host, The Dark Knight. Today we're focusing on the scariest found footage. We're going to take a deep dive into the world of the lost tapes. Ever since the invention of the camcorder, people from all over the world would record and document memories, special events and close family moments to save for the future to look back on later in life or to show to their children when they come of age. But every now and then, something unexpected would also be caught in the moment. Sometimes while filming a special family moment, something paranormal will also be there in the background. Or while filming a night out with your friends, having a great time and filming lots of memories, all of a sudden, an accident occurs and it turns out that everything leading up to that moment will forever be known as their last few moments on Earth. These are then known as found footage tapes. So stick the kettle on and make a cup of tea and let me show you the truth. It's that time again. So close the door, shut the curtains and turn off the lights and go full screen as you get ready to watch. Scariest found footage with background information. Before you begin, if you're a fan of horror or you love all things dark and twisted, or if you're interested in ghosts, poltergeists and demons, then press the subscribe button to join Project Dark Knight. And then click the bell icon so you'll be notified whenever I upload. I put a lot of effort into my videos and I'm so passionate about horror. So, if you think Project Dark Knight is worthy, then click subscribe for more horror. Thank you. The Croatian Stalking Tape The following footage is quite well known on social media. This tape was found in Croatia on the 4th of October 2005 and quickly went viral on all social media platforms. Some speculated it was fake, some said it was a student film, and others swear it was real. What is known about the story is that the teenagers in the movie went missing, and after a thorough search of the area that they were last seen in, the police recovered this footage, but they never did find the teenagers. The mysterious stalker in the tape was never caught or identified because he wore a sack over his head. But what was apparent was that the stalker knew where the boys lived. The footage starts with one teenager filming the other in a park. One of them doesn't want to be filmed, but the other teen wants to try out his new camera. So, as they film the background and a passing girl or two, suddenly his camera finds its way onto the silhouette of a dark stranger. And straight off the bat, it's obvious that he's watching them. They realize that the stranger is following them and makes his way closer and closer. Warning, the following clip might be distressing to some people. Watch. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Look at I da pogleda kako izumira. Prebao sam. Ko? Ko? Oga. Čekaj, snimaš sad? Da. Da nema mi snima, please, se bori. Nema mi snima. Da, imamo nešto radit, ne znam, snimit nekaj. Pa... A idemo do mati. Možda. Nema mi snima, ti što se bori. Dobro, dobro. Evo. Svet likovi kupit. Pa da. Hele! Dobro. Mi nismo... Let me click, let me click. Let me click, let me click. Let me click, let me click. No, let me click, what are you doing? I'm stuck. Hey! Let me go. What are you doing? I don't know. Okay, no matter. Hey, let's go. Let's go. Let me click. The whole time it was like a blur. When I came to the end, I don't know. What is it? Bravo. Gledaj lika. Au, isto se bolje. Čekaj, to je to ono opet 
Dobar da je ovdje. Nemam pojma, daj ga šutni. Daj ga šutni. Ne, neću se. Mislim da je pijanje u nešto. Ok, mislim da idemo ovdje. A on mi odavlja. Fuck is the voice. Ti mu vidio fakt prima ga. Pa naravno da sam vidio u faci, vidiš. Nisam skužio, čekaj, kaj je bilo s tim voice. Zato, na šanse da idem snimit tog uglika, vidiš da nas je napalo, kada te je ono? Ne, daj čovječ, onak možemo ga staviti na YouTube, to je sam stari dede, pijanice, možda. Ja, idem, na šanse. Čekaj, pacom, onak, daj, ajmo ka snimiti se Božicu. Čekaj se. Da to oni se Božicu. Kako je došao tu? Se Božicu, daj, kaj je, jel to oni se Božicu? Snime ga, sad ga snime, sad nemoj pobjeć. Kaj radiš se Božicu? Ne znam. Ej, jel si s tim redu onak? Pa prosite, jel vam treba pomoć? Koji vrag onak? Idemo do Mati, ne, naš nas. Ok, znači, Matija, studeni... 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 Aha, otvoren. Pusto. Kripi. Koji je kat? Peti kat. So after watching the clip, what do you think? Is it fake? Is it a student film? Or is it real found footage of two missing teens? Also, if there's anyone out there who can translate what was being said in the video, please let me know down below. Thanks. If you go down to the woods tonight, the following clip is only 52 seconds long and what I managed to find out wasn't that much. The video itself was filmed and uploaded 12 years ago to YouTube a group of friends, four to be exact, were messing about in the woods taking pictures and videos and just having fun when one of them suddenly realized that they were being followed. So they all stood still and waited. And that's when the figure could be seen hiding behind a tree. Like I said, it's a very short clip, but no one knew who or what he wanted. Watch. What the hell is that? Behind you. I'm being serious, there was some out there. There was. I'm not, there was some out there. What the hell is that? Behind you. I'm being serious, there was some out there. There was. I'm not, there was some out there. Followed in the forest. The following short clip is only 1 minute 13 seconds long. It was filmed on the 25th of July 2006 and was lost for 13 years. It was finally uploaded 3 years ago to all platforms in an attempt to find out who the man was. The film starts straight away with the man who's being followed. The man's voice is shaky and you can tell he's scared. He's in a valley and he's filming the tree line to try and catch whatever or whoever is following him. 
All around him, you can hear loud knocks and weird sounds. He's definitely not alone. Something spooks him and he starts to run. But then he loses his footing and falls to the forest floor. Instead of getting up, he then tries to stay still and he doesn't move in the hopes that his pursuer will pass him. But he's not that lucky. You can hear footsteps getting louder and louder as whatever it is that's following him draws nearer. Then the video ends. Um, it's uh, currently July 25th, uh, 2006. Um, the time is uh, 4.40 p.m. I'm currently up in the woods due to, well, what the town's been talking about, how there's been some weird occurrences and, um, oh God. <laughs> What? Okay. Oh, fuck. Okay. All right. Um. Okay, I'm not like this. Oh, shit. I can't. The Titanic Sinking Now, I have to admit, if the next piece of found footage is real, then it's amazing. Also, there was quite a lot of background information for this video which all points to it being real found footage of the Titanic sinking. In 1912, Joseph Davies, a 17-year-old boy, was tasked with the job of filming on the Titanic the day it sunk to the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. The footage was recovered by a historian in 2020 who was investigating the sinking of the ship. He told news and radio stations all over the world that a camera was found in the Atlantic Ocean where the Titanic rests. He said it was a miracle that the camera was still intact after it was found in 1989. After years and years, of trying to recover the destroyed film because of the sea salt, they were finally successful in 2020 when they used recovering state-of-the-art technology which got them the images you're about to see. Joseph died during the sinking of the ship. The end bit of the video, when it cuts out, is when Joseph drowned to death trying to capture the sinking of the Titanic. The 17-year-old boy's remains were never found. The clip is 4 minutes and 22 seconds long and remember, they use state-of-the-art technology to clean up the film. And according to my sources, this is real. But what do you think?
Tunnel of Terror In December of 1985, four kids went missing in New York. After an extensive police search and public interviews and news reports, and even a financial reward for any information leading up to finding them, there was no trace of them. And, after weeks, the hunt went cold and the search was called off and the case was left unsolved for over 30 years. Until one day, New York City workers found this tape in a camera along with some other items. A jacket, a backpack, candy wrappers, a yearbook, a pair of glasses and some human bones. Whatever happened to these kids that day is a mystery. We know that they are from the Brooklyn area and we know that they knew each other from school and that according to their film, they entered and explored the tunnel. But unfortunately, we also know they never returned home. As they explore the tunnel, they come across many signs from the occult and pictures of people with their eyes blacked out. After some time, they became lost. Then, from somewhere deep ahead of them, strange noises can be heard. Suddenly, the group start to panic and they ran back the way they came. But unfortunately, they would never be seen again. Watch. Stay out, stay alive. All across America are thousands of mines with thousands of miles of hidden passages that snake under the land. Some of these mines remain open with adequate safety measures, but a lot of these mines are closed due to hazardous conditions and poisonous gases, and they're sealed off for public safety. However, Many people each year manage to find a way into these closed mines to explore the abandoned tunnels, which can be deadly. 
In Nevada on the 4th of July 1998, several young men found and entered an abandoned mine. The mine entry had been vandalized and the group of men thought it would be fun to explore. They videotaped their dangerous journey. Due to the rise in popularity of exploring channels, thousands of people each year find themselves in dangerous situations like you're about to see. Every year, about 30 people die from exploring abandoned mines. As you see, Briz pointing out, stay out, stay alive. It's a good point, but we're, we're, we're not too smart, so we're going to go anyway. This is an unsafe mine. Danger. Without any warning, rotten timbers can give way. Wooden supports, ladders, and hidden shaft covers can all crumble under a child's weight. The roof and the side walls can also collapse with a mere brush of an arm. If you look at all this uh, there's lots of rocks and stuff that have fallen from the ceiling, which indicates that probably not a good idea to be walking this way. And, uh, well, they've already fallen, so they're not going to fall again. Well, there's more to fall still. A cave-in can block your escape, or even worse, crush you. Inside a mine, it's pitch black with miles of horizontal and vertical tunnels that randomly follow a ore vein. It is easy to get lost inside a mine and those who've been stranded in a mine will never forget it. The group of men who entered the mine were unprepared and unexperienced and didn't have any safety equipment. Watch. Yeah, we gotta remember where we're. Okay, we got out here. Who painted these exits and stuff? Grant. What do they mean? Dead ends and stuff. Okay, they're all got an X on. They all they go this way. That one's got an X. So it's also got that. What does the diamond mean? Where's that go? It goes down. <laughs> a long way. Ooh, that's not a little. Well, it'd be kind of hard if you slipped and fell, you could catch yourself before you actually fell down that. Not if panic set in and you scream like a little girl. Hi, Mom. That wasn't Might not make it back. <laughs> yeah. That was like, Mom and Dad, forgive me. Got some pipes. Oh, wow. We have to climb that. Yeah, don't everybody get up. I got you. You're going to be the lucky one to fall. This is going to America's Funniest when somebody falls. That's a good idea. All righty. Oh, that's the cable. Don't touch that. I hope the rope's still there. Where did we step? Oh, hey, look at this ladder. <laughs> I don't think I ever climbed up that. Where? This is down to the main shaft. Wow, so we're climbing down this rope. Yeah. How far down? How are we getting out of it? Climbing up it. I oh. see. Oh, this is exciting. Who's, who's got bad rope climbing skills? I've climbed ropes before. And a There's a little ledge you can how, climb. How far down does it go? All the way down to that ladder. See where it's going down? Where the oh, like, like a good 30 feet. Where the am I going to hook this I first. I am. About 600 feet. <laughs> you don't like to break up. <laughs> you don't want to... Put it like he's doing it in your mouth. <laughs> Bad. This is all like this. Is it off now? No, it's not. How am I going to get this thing down there? Yeah, but how am I going to get back up? Well, it looks sturdy. How's the knot? I don't have a uh, Hey, good. good. Give you my belt. Stretch on. Adam! Oh, f***! Adam! Adam! Yes! Adam! Oh, God. Oh, God. Somebody help. Adam! The young man fell approximately 65 feet, more than double they originally estimated. And unfortunately, he died. They had to wait more than 24 hours to retrieve his body. Unfortunately, most people who enter abandoned mines will never come out alive, so please be careful. Confessions of a Murder On the night of September the 22nd, 2006, 16-year-old Cassie Jo Stoddard was house-sitting for her aunt and uncle at Whispering Cliffs Drive in Bannock County. Her family were out of town and hired Cassie to take care of their three cats and two dogs for the weekend. That night, Cassie was visited by her boyfriend, Matt Beckham, who arrived around 6 p.m. Then, later, 
two of her classmates, Brian Draper and Tori Adamsik, who were also both 16 years old at the time. She gave them a tour of the house, including the basement. The four teens watched the movie together, but Adamsik and Draper ended up leaving before the movie ended, saying they wanted to watch a movie at the local cinema instead. Cassie and her boyfriend Matt stayed behind. Cassie was unaware, but before the boys left, Draper had unlocked the basement door so Adam Sick could re-enter the house undetected. The two boys parked their car near to the house in a car park and changed into their costumes of dark clothing, gloves and white painted masks. The two boys quietly re-entered the house through the basement door while the couple were watching TV in the living room. Then they found the circuit breaker and turned off the power to the house, hoping that Cassie and Matt would come down to investigate. But the couple did not go down because they noticed one of the dogs staring down into the basement and growling. At that point, seeing Cassie was scared, Matt called his mum asking if he could sleep over with Cassie. But his mum refused and said Cassie could stay over at Matt's house instead and she would bring her back in the morning. But Cassie had a job to do and she felt it was her responsibility to look after the animals. So, she stayed. At approximately 10.30 p.m., Matt's mum picked him up, leaving Cassie all alone. On the way home, Matt called Adam Sick to see where he was. Matt told the police later on in the interview that he could barely hear Adam Sick, who was whispering on the phone, and assumed that the two boys were in the movie theatre. But in fact, the two boys were laying in wait in the basement. From their position, they heard Matt leave. Then, the two boys went upstairs to Cassie. Draper was armed with a dagger-type weapon and Adamsik had a hunting knife. Then, they brutally attacked her, stabbing her 30 times, 12 of which were in her neck. During the trial, the police found that Draper and Adamsik had planned the murder beforehand and had also recorded their sick plan on film. There should be no odds against killing people. I know it's a wrong thing, but you know, hell, you should... hell, you restrict somebody from it, they're going to want it more. We found our victim, and sad as it may be, she's our friend. But you know what? We all have to make sacrifices. Our first victim is going to be Cassie's daughter. She's going to be alone in a big, dark house out in the middle of nowhere. How perfect can you get? I, I mean, like, holy shit, dude. I'm horny just thinking about it. Hell yeah. I was 9.50, September 22nd, 2006. We know there's lots of doors. There, there's lots of places to hide. I locked the back doors. That's all locked. Now we just gotta wait. I just killed Cassie. We just left her house. This is not a fucking joke. I'm shaking. I stabbed her in the throat and I saw her lifeless body just disappear. Dude, oh I just killed God. Cassie. Oh, oh, fuck. That felt like it wasn't real. I mean, it went by so Shut fast. Shut the fuck up. We gotta get our act straight. Okay. At the trial, both convicts blamed each other and Draper said that he was inspired by the two Columbine High School murderers, while Adam Sick had been inspired by the horror movie franchise Scream. Both boys were charged with first-degree murder and given mandatory life sentences with a minimum of 30 years, without the possibility of parole. Demon in the Basement the following content was uploaded to YouTube over 10 years ago by a channel called Tim, John and Ben. The video was about three young men who are named after the channel. The plan was to explore an abandoned house that was rumoured to be used for satanic rituals located somewhere in the woods. They knew nothing else about the house apart from it was abandoned. Later, they would go on to regret ever exploring that house. And that night, over a decade ago, something happened to the boys, especially John, that scared them to the bones. So much so that John refused to ever speak about what happened in the basement. 
and, even today, almost 11 years later, he still refuses to talk of it. This video was then forgotten about and, after some time, Tim and Ben decided to upload it. The video was uploaded on the 24th of November 2011 and took place before the surge of urbex, before exploring abandoned buildings became so popular. What was supposed to be an exploring video turned out to be something sinister. Rumours about the house turned out to be real because as Tim, John and Ben entered that basement, something evil waited in the darkness. And, amongst the satanic symbols and the reeking smell of rotten eggs and meat, an evil entity attacked John. And, whatever it was, it clung onto his back with claws. In the video, as he's running and screaming, that is the only time he ever describes what happened to him. Tim and Ben didn't get attacked, but they smelled and heard everything. And, they both witnessed the terror in their friend's eyes that night as all three boys ran from something that chased them. I still get chills whenever I watch this video. The full video is about 9 minutes long and it's only when they enter the basement that the shit hits the fan. Whoa, whoa. Jam, what's the gooey seven on? Oh my god. Okay, whoa. Well. Yeah, it's crazy. Who writes that? Look at the door, guys. John, come over here. I'll do it. Knock, knock. Oh my gosh. Dude, look at that thing. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, this is... Here you go. Okay, let's keep on going. Let's go. Whoa, that... this room is messed up. Ah! What? Whoa. What? Where's John? John. John. John, come on, man. Dude, come on! I'll relax, you guys are so tight. John, grow up, dude. Dude, you're always like, Shh. come on. Dude. Hey, have a little fun. I know. Dude, just... dude, seriously, cut it out, all right? Guys, just be quiet, it's fine. Just. All right, let's get moving. It's not like everything in here is. John, just, no, just, anyway. just be quiet. Dude, just stop talking. Just said Mr. Juice should go first. <laughs> fine, I'm gonna go first the whole time. You guys are just scared. Well, it is a little bit creepy, isn't it? Shh. Guys, be quiet. That's nasty. Oh. Oh. oh my gosh, dude. Hey, come on, look at this. Come on, we gotta, we gotta go down there. Okay. You guys wanna go? You're going first, Whoa. then. Okay. Do you want to go? Yeah, I'll go. That's that is terrible. Oh, oh, so oh, I can barely see. Whoa. What? <coughs> that smells really bad. Separate room. What is this? Do that smell is. What? What? What is that? John, what is that? It's like... Come on, let's go. Let's check 
smoky sound. Smoky. Dude, that smells really bad. It's like, oh. Guys, this smell is terrible. I think I'm, guys, I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> guys, we need to go. I gotta puke. Can check this out. I'll hold that one at your team. We gotta, we gotta go, man. We gotta go. Whoa. Well, oh. Do you hear that? Oh my god! Go, go, go! Go, 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 go! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh. Oh, please, you're Okay. We gotta go. The door's locked. Get open! There's scratches. Go, 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 go. Help! Help! What's happening? What the... Get off! What's going on? Hang on. What's... John? Get off! Get off! What? Dude, Okay. Did you hear that? Fuck. Oh. oh, my God. Oh, shit. Who is it? Who, who is it? John. Go! Oh I don't know. Where are we? Guys, I'm sorry. It's fine. John. Let's go home. John. Let's go home. Leave me alone. Dude, shut the camera off. Prank gone bad. This video was shot in 2009 in Wisconsin and was later uploaded to social media eight years later because of an investigation that was carried out due to missing teenagers. Apparently, the old man in the video was the brunt of everyone's jokes in the neighborhood. One day, three teens made a mistake that would end in one murder and two others being kidnapped. In the video, one teen deposits his own waste in a bag and sets it on fire and knocks on the old man's door. Yes folks, it's the flaming bag of shit prank. The old man opens the door and on seeing the flaming bag, he stamps on it to put out the flames, but he gets shit all over his boots. The teens laugh and run away, leaving the man angry. Throughout the day, the teens would play the same prank on the man a total of three times. But unfortunately, the third time wasn't lucky. As the teen was lighting the bag for the third time, the old man saw him through the window and before the teen could get away, he was knocked out and dragged into the old man's house. Got it! Come on, take it. Go, oh, go, go. It's a steamer. It's a steamer. Bag number two, here we go. Fuck, it's cold. Come on, come on, come on. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Come on, come on, come 
Oh, my God, you give me a fuck. Oh, shit. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Go ahead and get this old man again. Last time we almost gave him a heart attack. He ran all across the street. So here's another shit bag. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh my god. Holy oh, shit. What are we gonna. <gasps> get out, get out. Our missing sons. On February the 3rd, 2009, three 24-year-old adult males went camping along the Amicolola River of North Georgia. And they were never seen again. A Sony Handycam was recovered from the scene of their disappearance and the footage it contains has been the number one piece of evidence on this ongoing investigation. Duplications of the video were given to the families of the three boys for keepsake and after months of persistent dialogue with all three parents, one finally agreed to release it for public viewing. They hope that someone may recognize and have some information that could possibly help bring their sons home. The three men were planning on spending a few days camping and enjoying fishing and having a few beers with each other. But as you'll soon see in the video, they were not alone. All they wanted was to bust a few beers with each other and break bread. When all of a sudden, the lads noticed someone approaching. If you listen carefully, you can hear what sounds like three car or truck doors slamming closed towards their left somewhere not that far off which suggested to me two things. First off, they camped near the car park area which meant their fire could be easily spotted. And two, the vehicle door suggested that at least three people got out, but there could have been more. And they had dogs. And what, maybe? 3,000? Five thousand? No, three thousand. <laughs> I was saying five hundred. Three to five thousand years. Five, three to five thousand years, and now we have it. Let let us. Why does he talk so loud? Rejoice. Let us. Does anybody know why he talks so loud? Listen, I am a local guide on this land. This tree here, this is called the Aklongo. That's the same name as the river. No, no, no. Akmuglaglu is the name of the smoothly running with it. See, I change your name every time. You it's just okay. change your name, but river, river, name, river name three times. What, what do you call it? I, I don't. To put you're, you on the spot, you don't know nothing. You're my guy. I thought you were Indian. You're my guy. What I you I'm paying you to tell me what the fucking name well, of the river is. <laughs> Let's head back to the homestead. <sighs> homestead sounds good. Smoke a bowl by the homestead. White rabbits. They follow me everywhere I go. They are manita. Oh, please shit, that just freaked me they out. They just freaked my ass. <laughs> <laughs> you see that dude? It's, about it's, hey. it's not about you. Even though your name's being quiet, mentioned, he's probably over here and we're like, just be quiet. <laughs> I know, like, I, don't, I, like, I enjoyed this album. I would see my, you know, 
The last few moments of the video you can hear heavy breathing and shouting as the three friends are running away through the forest. Also, they are being chased with dogs and at 9 minutes and 35 seconds you hear a gunshot and one of the campers scream. The three men were never seen again and all that was found was the camera some distance away from their campsite. Before we get to the end, if you've seen something scary, creepy or amazing and you've caught it on camera or if you're a ghost hunter and you're having problems getting your content out there or maybe you live in a haunted house and you need some help and answers because you think you're all alone. Well, you're not. Project Dark Knight Horror is here for you. So send in your videos, links, photos, stories, ideas and more to Project Dark Knight. The email is on screen. Thank you. A board is still a board. The following video was filmed 13 years ago on the 19th of January 2009 and it proves that even homemade widget boards can be dangerous and as long as you believe and want something to happen then even a pizza box can be used as a board. And that's exactly what happens in the next video. Three friends make their homemade board and try to communicate with the other side. Unfortunately for them, they are successful in getting a response, but they also get more than they bargained for when one of them is attacked by a demonic force. Watch. Hello. Hello. What, what, do you, what do you have? I've got a pizza box. That'll work. Uh, I'll work on the bottom. What's the 13th letter? A, B, C, D, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M. So one goes from A to M and then the other one goes from N to Z. Is it curved? Uh, yeah, I think so. A little bit, yeah. Okay. Curves. What? God. <laughs> you can you can turn it into a cue that I'm sure the ghost will know what it means. That's good enough. Is it supposed to be smiling? It's just supposed to be a face. So that's the board. Take this stuff off. That's everything? There's some scissors in that drawer. Where? Once the board is complete, they make their way home. Okay, here we are in the room. It's dark, but I got the camera light on so you can see. And there's the girls. And we need we need something to uh to make the little thing with. Just uses a perfume lid there. What, where? Okay, that worked. That's like the... Right, I've seen like that before. Okay. Okay. Let's spin around in like three circles. <clears throat> Is there anybody here? Is there anybody here? Don't move it now. Don't move it. 
What is your name? S U S A Susan. Susan Q. Susie Q. <laughs> <laughs> um, Is that a Q? <laughs> uh, are you a good spirit? I don't know it now. <clears throat> um, what do you want? D A In. <coughs> wow. Danny. What's that mean? Who is Danny? Let's try it again. <coughs> Three circles. Is there anybody here? Don't move it. Is this, uh, is this Susan? Uh, are you a good spirit? What is your name? J O H John. No, don't just just let your hand rest on it. What do you want? Was it K? K? Ah. L kill. I'll do this.
this shit anymore. Did you guys move it? No. Are you sure? I didn't fucking move it. I wasn't even touching it really. Here, here, type this. Don't. Shh. If you've made it to the end, then I salute you. You've proved you're a true fan of horror. But remember, if you're interested in ghosts, poltergeists and demons, urban exploring, random nautica and haunted houses, animal attacks, true crime and serial killers, then Project Dark Knight Horror is the channel for you. I absolutely love all things horror and I'm so passionate about my channel. We've just passed the 150,000 subscriber mark and I can't believe just how fast the channel's grown. And I owe it all to you, my subscribers and viewers. You never fail to amaze me when it comes to showing how much you care. Your messages and comments and ideas are what keeps me going from week to week. So, if you want to get to know me, or if you need a place to post some footage, why not join my private Facebook group? There, you'll be in great company. We have all sorts of people from all walks of life. So what are you waiting for? So if you're a psychic or a medium, an artist or a poet, a YouTuber or a writer, or a demonologist, then join Project Dark Knight. The link is below. Thank you. This month's Dark Knights are on screen. I just want to say a massive thank you for believing in Project Dark Knight and supporting the channel with your donations. Lastly, a massive thank you to my 12 Patreons who support the channel that little bit extra. Their names are Thorson Lip, Julie Six, Andrew M. Gross, Steve Launt, Laura Rohde, George Lopez, Cookie Oo, I don't know, Baki T, Steve McMahon, Katie Freer, Countess Monette, and Greasy Cox. It's thanks to people like you who love all things horror and believe in my channel that keep the engines running at Project Dark Knight. Thank you. And always remember, you've been watching Project Dark Knight Horror. And I am the Dark Knight. Signing off. Peace. Don't ever laugh, Aster. Her skull's by for you. Next to die, they wrap you up in a big white sheet. From your head down to your feet, they put you in a big black box and cover you up with dirt and rock.